This is a Bunsen burner. To first start, you need to attach the tubing to the gas supply. Then you must turn the gas valve and the air valve both off. To do that, you turn the gas valve to the right and the air valve to the left. Now you can turn the gas valve three quarters of the way. One, two, and get your scratch lighter ready. To start the flame, you can turn on the gas supply and make sure your scratch lighter is ready to light it. So you don't want to have the gas on too long. When you light it, you get a nice high flame here which you can adjust through the gas valve. You can then adjust the color with the air valve. You want to have a nice blue flame which will cause the most heat. When using a Bunsen burner to dry a sample, you first need to attach your iron ring to your stand. It needs to be at a height where the inner core is at a good height to heat your sample because you want to heat the crucible intensely. You place the clay triangle on top of the ring and then pick up your crucible with your tongs and place it on the triangle. Now you can move your Bunsen burner over and heat your crucible to get rid of impurities and to dry it. Once you're done with that, you can remove your crucible with the tongs and then raise your ring so you don't burn your sample. Now you are gently heating your sample in order to dry it. Once the drying is done, you can remove your sample and place the cover on top. Now you just need to turn the gas off by switching the switch perpendicular to the valve. 